The Bills shine on prime time yet again. Our Buffalo Bills are headed to the playoffs as they beat the Pittsburgh Steelers 17 to 10. Welcome to Chalk Talk episode 18. The Bills are in the playoffs. And we did so in a dominating fashion. The Bills had five turnovers to the Steelers, two. Tredavious White with two interceptions. One we thought he was going to take back to the house. It was amazing, despite him going down with a shoulder, which was really scary for me and probably a lot of Bills fans to see because he's a, a pro bowler and he's our guy on defense, and that's goes without saying. Josh Allen offensively struggled against another tough defense, the Pittsburgh Steelers, but he again... 10 games, he has two touchdowns, or at least a touchdown in a rush in a rushing touchdown, two touchdowns in a game. That's insane. Josh Allen has really shown improvement. Um, he took care of business when he had to. A lot of drop balls as well. Some balls weren't the best, but they played a good, really good defense. Duck Hodges couldn't get anything going. He was 23 of 38 for 202 yards, one touchdown and four interceptions. Connor had eight rushes for 42 yards. He was shut down. Josh Allen was 13 to 25, 139 yards, one touchdown, the interception, and a 65.2 rating. And uh, he had seven carries for 28 yards and also had a touchdown there. You can't stop him inside the one. He was excellent. John Brown had seven catches for 99 yards. Tyler Croft had the sole catch for 14 yards, but it was a beautiful little out route touchdown to him. Singletary had 21 carries for 87 yards. And uh, the Bills also controlled the time of possession, 32 minutes and 20 seconds to 27 minutes and 40 seconds for the Steelers. Now, this was an example to me of a good tight contention match that we're going to see possibly in the playoffs. Now, we know that Pittsburgh's offense wasn't really that great, even with Connor coming back after an injury. We were kind of hoping that the Bills would suffocate them. But with it being in Pittsburgh, it being on Sunday Night Football, and them having a very good rec track record on uh, primetime Sunday night in particular, uh, it was going to be a tough game. But we did it. Again, on prime time, we shine, and our quarterback led us to victory. Our defense led us to victory. What a team win here. Now, you know, we clinched our playoff, and we have an opportunity to possibly win the AFC East. And I know that seems unlikely, but what better opponent than to play, than to play New England in Gillette and get an opportunity with a 5-1 and one road record to maybe go to 6-1 and one and maybe hope that Fitzpatrick, if we maybe all give him a call and tell him to really just shine, who knows? You never know. With one game, Miami beating New England, they're one of the ones that beats them, you know, more than anybody in the AFC East over the years. So it could happen, but we got to take care of business on Saturday at 4 o'clock, and it's great. Um, the Bills' D is making it very, very difficult for quarterbacks, and this will include Tom Brady on Saturday. Um, they're only allowing 76.7 QB ratings, which is really good. The Bills have not lost back-to-back -back games, um, but we didn't lose last week, but we, that's another little fun fact. We have not lost back-to-back. -back. Tremaine Edmonds has 105 tackles. He needs 16 more to pass last year. He's all over the place. And... Um, these are just some things that we got to carry over. We're very healthy as a football team. I don't know if Ty Insecki is going to come back. Um, I'm glad Tredavious White is okay. But we really, really need to come together and we need to handle business. We can't get complacent. Even though we're in the dance and we're in the playoffs, which I'm very happy for, I've never witnessed a 10-4 and record in my life. And I'm very, very grateful and happy to see us maybe go 12-4, and 11-5. But... Um, Got to start with Brady, and I just feel that this team is very capable of beating Brady. I really do. I really feel like we can – I mean, 16-10 in Buffalo, and at the end we lost Allen. So, you know, full, complete game from Buffalo. I'm feeling pretty good about this game, guys. Anybody going to Gillette? I know you guys are. Guys, comment, like, subscribe. Let's go. Beat the Patriots next week. Maybe possibly Tom Brady's done. We never know. We won't know. <laughs> he might play for another 10 years. Let's end his career in a good way. In a good way. But let's 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 show them who's ahead in the AFC East for years to come. Go Bills!